Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I'm Jason, your host. It's it's a very interesting time for me. Ever since my review, when I talked to the person and they explained that I, I wasn't able to leave the house. It's basically changed my world. I was so used to not going out that I didn't even see it as a loss. I was so convinced that for the rest of my life that these four walls would be all I'd ever seen. After all, in the past 34 years of my life, the only times I'd left the house when Paola was alive was to take Paola somewhere. There's probably, I can count probably in the tw 20 years of being with Paola, I probably left the house probably five times in that entire time without her. And when she was gone, I, I tried to get back into the world in 2019. I tried to leave the house. Ended up with me almost having an end of life situations. And by the end of 2019, I had basically stopped thinking of the outside world as something that I would ever be a part of. And for the next four years, I... lived within my safe space but if this works if when I get this scooter I am able to leave my house without falling apart if I am able to get to leave the house and just go outside in it It's hard to underestimate just how amazing that could be. My local town is only a mile and a half away. I haven't visited it since January of last year when I had to go to the bank to sign some legal forms for my mum. I could go and I this the wheelchair will allow me a range of about 15 to 20 miles. The range, the range of the actual thing is like 35, 36. But if I want to make sure I can always make it back home, I need to limit myself to about, let's call it 17 miles. But if this works, if this really works, and I can... do this then I will get a battery upgrade for it and take it up to a 100 amp battery instead of a 75 which will increase its range from 35 miles to 45 miles and because it's the maxer which allows me a leeway of 70 kilograms spare. There's no reason I can't keep a little um, power gen on there. 
six kilograms on a power jam, um, two kilograms for water and snacks and foods, and then all the other bits and pieces I want to take with me. I've made a rule. Everything I take on this vehicle is going to be second hand, is going to be old. The computer, the tablet I'm going to take with me is from 2013. The battery pack I'm going to take with me for it, if I take a power gen, is going to be a refurbished one. The phone that goes with me will be from 2020. There'll be nothing on my on on when I go on my journeys that will be new. And this will mean that I have this whole first of all nobody's going to really get anything out of me if they rob me there'd be nothing worth taking even the max itself will be second hand and it's all going to be insured And if it works, I will upgrade and customize the Maxa. I will get a rain cover canopy for it. Because the Yuko, if I, if I really enjoy using it, then I'm not going to want to stop when it gets to autumn or when it's a rainy day. I haven't left this house except for that one journey to the car plague so, and I did not enjoy that because I wasn't in a safe space for so long that this is like it's beyond words the idea that I could be able to st leave the house and go places I could go and visit my sister. I mean, it's crazy. This could give me a, a way to explore the world. Or my local world. I'm actually astounded. Anyway. I'm going to be, go bed soon. This, this, this whole point. This, I was so worried, so worried about having my review, as all disability people are, to have their assessment. But I mean, the thing is, I've always been told. Always, it's always been my depression that's told me that I'm not ill. Doctors have always told me I'm severely disabled. Everybody's always told me the simple fact that I don't leave the house and don't think it means I'm my ability to leave the house is not there. But my own brain had locked it out because I was so focused on living here. I am quite amazed. what 
this can mean for me? So I hope you're all having a good day. I'm going to go to bed soon, yeah. I'm tired, Bertie's tired. <laughs>